I have some information to share with you that might be indicating that we are at the bottom or very, very close to the bottom. We're also going to be going over what is happening in the charts right now. And I'm going to be sharing with you some information regarding what the whales are doing right now. We have some very important information regarding that, including the crypto shrimps. And I'm going to be telling you what's happening in the economic calendar this week which is going to cause a lot of volatility, which you need to be aware about. So make sure you watch this video until the end. Now, if you guys love cryptocurrency content, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on. So you do not miss these time sensitive videos where we are able to predict the crypto market through technical analysis and understanding what is happening in the scenes and behind the scenes for cryptocurrencies. And make sure you also leave some comments down below. I do get to my comments. I read my comments. I love the comments. However critical you want to be, positive, negative, I love it. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below. But let's get into this video. So we can go straight over coin market cap and we can see that cryptocurrencies are sideways. Most cryptocurrencies, we'll take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, are barely red, barely green. Uh, most cryptocurrencies have not moved much at all. So things have been sideways the last couple of days. Very interesting. Um, a lot of people did expect cryptocurrencies to crash over the weekend in my video Friday. Uh, based on the information, understanding of what we had and how crypto moved last week, I thought cryptocurrencies were going to be bullish. But, um, you know, it's talking about from Friday to now, we actually are green. We are higher than where we were on Friday. So interesting to see. But for the most part, cryptocurrencies have been sideways. And there's some very important things that I need to share with you that is happening in the charts for cryptocurrencies. And this is going to predict basically the movements and understanding whether we are bullish or bearish in the immediate short term so we can understand what's happening right now. We're gonna be getting into that. Uh, the first thing is, you know, let's just take a look at Bitcoin here. We'll go to the Bitcoin chart and Bitcoin this past weekend was forming this symmetrical triangle pattern. But if we zoom out, we can see that it is a bear flag. So we see a long move down, shows a bearish strong momentum down. And then we see this consolidation period that is resulting us being left in this symmetrical triangle pattern. And I'll go ahead and just for the sake of this video, make these lines thicker so you can see exactly the type of pattern that we are forming. So we see symmetrical triangle pattern. I did alert my Patreon members just a couple of hours ago before this breakout happened that we are going to be seeing a breakout. Now, uh, the bias of this chart is bearish of course but you know i do have a bullish bias all the time so we are in a bear flag so just based on the pattern the way that this thing is forming uh is likely that we could see a pretty decent move down uh, or even a very big move down just based off of this bearish flag so that's what we are seeing but what's very interesting is that bitcoin ended up breaking outside of this pattern that has been trapped in here since 30th of june so we've been in here a few days bitcoin finally just broke out of this pattern for the first time and we've come down to test the support of this pattern now generally breakouts whenever it breaks out in a particular direction can show us that there's going to be a big move to the direction that it breaks out in. So we're breaking out to the upside, but we need more time. This pattern is still longer. We still have some length to actually fulfill the full length of this pattern. And what could end up happening is this could be a fake out or we could end up just breaking out for a little bit and end up actually coming down and fulfilling the bear flag if that does happen. So we're going to continue monitoring this chart here on the channel and in my Patreon, I will be telling you guys when to buy and sell. We will be doing buy and sell alerts based off of Bitcoin's movement here in this pattern. Um, but we have some key resistance levels. The next resistance level that Bitcoin is looking at is going to be about 19,687, which is the exact level that we hit just today after we broke out of the pattern. But in order for a breakout to fully happen, we need volume, we need a bunch of indicators, we need to have some time, and we need confirmation. So just a quick move to outside of this pattern does not necessarily indicate to us where this breakout is gonna go and what's going to happen. We need some more time and Bitcoin needs to break this resistance level, and then continue going up with volume. That's gonna give us the indication, understanding and confirmation that Bitcoin is likely to head up further not only Bitcoin, but every single cryptocurrency. So every cryptocurrency moves off of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's breaking out and bullish, uh, altcoins, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, XRP, they're gonna be bullish as well. Now, sometimes the small coins can move outside of Bitcoin, um, but that has to do with like news and things like that, which happen all the time. Ethereum is kind of doing the same exact thing. We just had a little breakout and we're trying to break out again, uh, but we're gonna need some more time. And we could actually, after you watch this video, while you're watching this movie, we could probably, you're probably seeing it now, um, a move to the upside. That's it's kind of likely from what we are seeing here. But of course, 
do understand that a lot of times these particular patterns can end up being fake outs, especially when the overall market is very bearish, that a lot of these bullish breakout patterns that we see, um, they end up getting rejected and end up doing the opposite of the pattern. We've seen that a lot. So just be careful with that and understand that overall we are fully bearish. But there's something behind the scenes that I need to share with you that's going to actually help you to understand that behind the scenes, there are there is information that could be pointing that we are near the bottom, that we could be heading up further. Uh, and I'm going to be showing and sharing with that you sharing that with you right now. So first and foremost, what we can see as Bitcoin crashes, data shows whales are buying the dip. So despite the price of cryptocurrencies crashing and going down and everyone's calling Bitcoin going to zero and people are firing people that companies crypto that crypto companies are firing people um, because cryptos are going to a winter and a bear market for years and years and years and forever. Um, there's information to indicate that whales are buying cryptocurrency at a level that we have not seen in a long, long time. And guess what? The levels that we are seeing Bitcoin whales buy cryptocurrencies is much higher than the 2020 dip. Very interesting. So if we take here on the left side, we can see post March 2020. And this green volume is the whale volume, the purchasing of Bitcoin. And all the way here on the right side, we are at a major high. We've broken a major resistance level in this volume and it's happening right now. And as you notice, every spike, these major spikes uh, in the purchasing of Bitcoin from these whales, always 100% of the time, always ends up in a massive bull run not long after and we can see that while prices are going up and have kind of peaked out you see the volume going down and then when you see the crashing you see the buying power goes down as well so if you swim with the whales you will most likely make a lot of money so the whales right now they're buying the dip if you want to swim with the whales you buy the dip it's not financial advice it's just pure factual information the whales are buying a dip at a level that we have not seen in a very long time and also they're not only buying aggressively but look at this we not only have whales buying cryptocurrencies like crazy but we have shrimps shrimps are people that are obviously not whales at all and these are people with less than one bitcoin so we are seeing a massive spike uh, much higher than the 2020 dip when people were buying stocks and cryptos that's when they went crazy when bitcoin went to 3000 um we are seeing that same type of buying volume actually greater right now from shrimps and whales. So shrimps and whales are coming together and they're buying the dip and the prices, of course, are going a little bit lower. But guess what? That's not the end of the world. Uh, prices are going down. They've crashed, but that's only a temporary thing. If you look back a year, two years from now, um, even a couple of months from now, you're going to probably laugh at yourself and hate yourself that you did not buy as much crypto and you had such great opportunities to scoop up these cryptocurrencies at such great discounts. And cryptocurrencies are probably going to be in one year from now, two years from now, probably even a lot less, even a couple of months from now, a lot higher. That's my prediction, my speculation. But the important thing is once we see this massive buying volume coming in from the shrimps and the whales together, that it always is a bottom. So this is like literally 100% accurate. Uh, the time from just analyzing the chart and looking at the bottoms, comparing the volume, it's always been one for one. Every single time cryptos have bounced up and we are seeing that right now. So people are buying the dip. That is very, very important. And in this week, this coming week, I have to share with you some information regarding what's going to be happening uh, in the U.S. Uh, economy, the Fed and monetary policy. So on Wednesday, there is a Fed meeting. It's going to be taking place at 2 p.m. So that's going to cause a lot of volatility. And uh, it might actually be bullish because we have the PCE numbers coming a little coming in a little bit lower than expected this past week, which means inflation is starting to slow down a little bit. So they could be less hawkish. They could be less aggressive with their monetary policy and raising interest rates, which is killing the crypto and stock market. Also, we have on Friday the unemployment rate. So these are going to be some important numbers, which um, should be bullish, in my opinion. So that information, those meetings are probably going to cause volatility and going to be causing volatility in the crypto and stock market this week, the days before and after and during. So those are some things to watch for this week. But understanding the whales are buying the dip. Should you buy the dip? That's surely a question. Let me know if you have bought the dip in the comments below with any cryptocurrency. If you believe that we are near the bottom, because I certainly believe near, that we are near the bottom. And guess what? Very important information that I want to share with you right now. So if we actually take a look at the Bitcoin chart, of course, we can see all these lines and stuff. But look at this. Bitcoin bottomed out a couple of weeks ago, about 17,600. And we made a high and we have come down. But guess what? This could be the new, the lower high. 
this could be the higher low so we have low high low high so we could be moving up here very 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 soon let me know if you guys think that that is the case that that is likely this week the next coming weeks i certainly hope so and it is kind of looking like it. it's certainly possible the month of july is generally very bullish for stocks and cryptos and i think that this month is going to be bullish for cryptos let me know if you think that this month is going to be bullish for cryptos i think that we could see bitcoin touching 25 26k at some point this month and that's going to be you know from our current level looking like a 30 percent move for bitcoin and we know for altcoins ethereum and altcoins it's going to be a lot higher move now if you guys want to get access to the most profitable trade alerts on the internet go ahead and join the patreon especially join tier three where you can get access to the whale group where you, i'm very active with my community members we have weekly zoom meetings where i teach technical analysis you guys can speak to me on the phone we discuss your portfolios and then we have bi-weekly meetings with all the patreon members it's just an awesome positive community where we are making profitable trades where we are making money and also doing futures calls in tier three so you can join the patreon the link is in my video description and also make sure if you want to trade cryptocurrencies claim your four thousand dollar deposit bonus over on bybit it's the best crypto trading platform out there period for trading not investing but for trading you can go long you can go short you can make money when cryptos are going up or down on your favorite tokens use my link below and they are giving free money if you use my link. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I will be making a couple of videos tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. You have a great night. Consider giving this video a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend or family member. I will see you all later.